Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. In this video, we will be covering the duties of Chief Engineer. This video is in the series of videos where we are looking at various ranks and their responsibilities on board. Let's jump go into the video. Chief Engineer. Who is a Chief Engineer? Chief Engineer. Chief Engineer is a rank which is got after clearing the class 1 examination as per the STCW convention. Okay, so chief engineer is basically the head of the engine department on the ship. I have done a separate video covering the shipboard organization, which I request you to kindly go and visit for the entire description of the structure of the shipboard organization. Okay, now let's go into the duties. Before that, what is his salary and other information? The chief engineer will take home a salary of anywhere between 10,000 to 20 to 22,000 USD per month. Okay. Also, this can reduce in some cases below which I mentioned that is less than $10,000 or more than $22,000 based on what kind of ship or what kind of nationality or what kind of certification does it have for example if you have an indian coc or a uk coc that is considered very high if you consider if you have a honduras coc or a panama coc that can that is considered little lower in its value hence the salaries will exactly depend on the type of certification you have who has issued the certification and the nationality of course, based on the vessel type. Let's go into his duties. He is responsible for overall maintenance and operation of ship's machinery and equipment. Okay, as I told you, he is the head of the engine department on the ship. Hence, he is also in charge of the overall maintenance and upkeep of all the equipments which are required to operate the ship successfully. Ensure compliance with safety regulations and environmental laws. Because the ship is a huge machine and will use a lot of fuel, also gives out or exhausts a lot of gases which could be harmful to the atmosphere. Hence, compliance to safety regulations and environmental laws are very very important for the operation of the engine room. The engine room is always very hot because of so many machineries running. Also, there is always a risk of fire and other hazards due to availability of fuel around. Hence, the chief engineer always has to keep his eyes open to ensure all the safety requirements are always complied. Supervise and coordinate the work of the engineering department. As he is the head, obviously, it becomes his duty to ensure all the required duties are performed by the staff under him again we will be discussing about the staff under him in the upcoming videos presently they he will have a second engineer third engineer fourth engineer and maybe a trainee and also a few ratings engine ratings who are not directly under him but under the supervision of second engineer plan and schedule routines routine maintenance and repairs you have something called the plan maintenance system on board which is a computerized based program which reminds and helps in planning the tasks which are required to keep the machinery running in the perfect condition. Based on the PMS, the chief engineer plans the schedule of the maintenance and repairs on a regular daily basis in discussion with second engineer to ensure all the machinery are kept maintained as required. Monitoring control ship's fuel consumption. Again, as he is in the engine room, his main duty would also involve monitoring of the fuel consumption, which also may indirectly give an indication of any irregularities in the operation of the machinery. Also, one of the biggest cost in operating the vessel is his fuel consumption. Hence, the chief engineer has the duty to ensure and monitor the fuel consumption very closely to ensure optimum use of the fuel.
Ensure the ship's power generation and distribution systems are functioning properly. Again, the engine room is part of the power generation unit of the ship. Hence, like the other machinery and equipment, the power generation generators are also come under his indirect supervision. Generators are usually managed by either the third engineer or the fourth engineer, the maintenance perspective. Respond to emergency and provide technical support to other departments as needed. He is a technical hand, usually engineers or all technically qualified hands. They are sought in case of any technical assistance required on the tech side and other departments as well. In case of emergency, he is required to be present and provide assistance as per the emergency plan of the vessel. Participant budgeting and purchasing decisions for ship engineering department. As the ship is a big factory, there are requirements of lot of spare parts which can be permanent or it can be usables. The consumables and the critical spares are always to be maintained on the ship as per the required amount in the mentioned in the plan maintenance system or the critical equipment register as per the ship's safety management system. Hence, it becomes very important to ensure the ship is always provided with sufficient spares in case there is a breakdown and the machinery needs to be repaired out at sea. Collaborate with ship's captain and other officers to plan and execute safe and efficient voyages. As the ship requires fuel to travel from port A to port B, it is very important for him to plan the consumption of the fuel oil which would be required for the voyage. Hence, he has to closely coordinate with deck officers and the master to ensure he has sufficient fuel for the voyage and also his machinery will be properly operating during the passage. Ensure the ship's engineering personnel are properly trained and certified. The training process is a continuous one because every ship is unique and the seafarers have to be trained specifically to that ship even though there would be only minor difference from their previous ships. Hence, the chief engineer has the responsibility to ensure all the seafarers on the engine side are familiar with the equipments and machinery for the maintenance and the operation to be done at an acceptable and professional manner. Last but not the least, oversee the ship's waste management and pollution prevention system. As mentioned earlier, there is a lot of exhaust like gas liquid to the environment. Hence, the chief engineer has the overall responsibility of the effluents from the engine room. It might be water, it might be oil or it might be gas. And also it can be solid waste like oily rags etc. So, he has to follow the international regulations like MARPOL for the disposal of garbage and waste from the engine room. That completes a small session on the duties and responsibilities of chief engineer. Thank you so much for being with me till now. Take care, be safe and be healthy. Thank you so much. Thank you.